meeting was basically everybody like coming together and we discuss like what's going on in the next. I agree, you know, that we always do it. This one time, I think someone sent the video to, to the group that we had. I think it was to the Meg, and there was a beat playing, and I heard someone's verse. And I was like, who the hell is that? So I was very curious, and I already liked the song from, from the jump. I already liked the song. And then I wanted to know who it was. But in my mind, I was like, this sounds like Peterson, but I'm not sure because this verse is impeccable. This verse is crazy. So, and then I played the song on my phone so many times because I already liked it. And the song, the song is titled Day Ones, of course. And yeah, that's the song that made me look forward to the next sessions because I felt like the song was the one. How would you inside the one one? Stay outside, man. You see, now we record with the scotch here. Uh, that's how we keep shit. Uh, yeah. Now look where we at. We came a long way. They did us wrong and they thought we forgot Now they see the whole plan and we tell them this shit Let's stay where you at Don't come our way Day ones, when we were doing day ones I, For me, I felt like um, Cause there was a point where, where, we, where we started working And then we stopped for like, I don't know, for like two days Because the guys were, you know, going through whatever But then we came back and then we did day one so i think that's the song for me that i feel like that pushed us to do you know to really to really keep 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 working on more music yeah, he was tough, you know, when people would ask me, you know, what's your guy? I'd be like, hey, bro, get to studio, studio guy, hey, man, hey, wabota mo, ta, ta record, like a span, so it was, it was tough because every time I come here, they'd ask you, Hodo, where you coming from? I can't even tell them, Hodo, get to a guy. And guys thought like Korea, hey, man, I don't know what all of you will be easy to hear what you like to because it's always on a, on a Friday or on a Sunday. Check us stay here, you know? <laughs> they did us wrong and they thought we forgot. Now they see the whole plan and we tell them this shit. Let's stay where you were. Don't come our way. Times when I'm with Tipa, and then <laughs> I'm like, Imna, like, are we working on something? Like, I just can't, you know. I just can't keep quiet about it. Like it's ringing in my head too much. Like, I'm like ah, but then something just tells me nah, don't, don't, don't you, don't. That might be the oddest thing I had to do in my life. Cause imagine not being able to talk about such a great thing, like the thing that I'm coming here for, but I'm unable to share it with others. That's hard. Like that was the toughest, toughest thing I had to do. But it's worth it. Let's surprise them. Change the tone. Hey, 
Oh, that's not change that tone. No, no, no. Let's talk about who go. I'm making the beat now. Okay. So, so don't change, change it. The, no, I'm only changing it because the shiny emoji. So I'm trying to yeah. first play other keys. Um, but don't change the, it. Yeah, I'm gonna take it back. You guys already have the yeah. 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 So it's yeah. You don't have I was present in many, yeah. and let me say in most. You know, and all of them was were very productive, you know, in my opinion. You know, I had like a whole lot of fun. I went home very inspired and looking forward to work on new music with the guys, you know. There were very, everyone was just generally involved, you know, yeah. But the one guy that always got me excited and I always wanted to like hear him out was MVX because he would, I don't know, his presence would make everyone want to work. You know, when you hear a verse from him, you'd want to work on like something else. Because, yeah, he brought like so much um, vividness to each and every session. So I enjoyed him the most and the other guys as well. <laughs> I didn't know what to tell them when they asked me when I'm at the studio. I didn't know what to tell them. Uh, I'm busy doing this, doing that. Especially like my best friend, she would always ask me, "What am I doing?" And I always tell her I'm at studio. So it was quite difficult for me not to reveal that secret to her at that time. So yeah. I have been a lot of times actually. Because like it's a, it's a, it's something so beautiful, man. Because I'm I'm excited for the project, so I want someone to know like this is what we're working on, and I feel like it's gonna blow like the whole city. But then I cannot I cannot really like tell anyone because I don't have the songs on me, and it's like it sounds like it's just something that I'm saying. So I have been tempted a lot of times. That was the hardest part. That was the hardest part because there were moments where um. Maybe I'd I'd be in studio and then we'd record, record, record. And then I'd have to leave the studio and then maybe go to my mom or somewhere or go to a friend's place and then they would ask me, Yo, where you been? And then I'd it would slip out that yo, I've been recording and then just when, when I'm about to say, Yo, what wh who I'm recording with or what was I doing and then I remember, no, I'm not actually supposed to be saying this to these niggas. And then I like I just stopped. Like I've had a lot of those moments where I I was this close to telling people about it, but then it just like clicked in my mind that oh, we're not supposed to say anything. Nagajo, yeah, Nagajo light is up. Nagajo light is up. Eastside, Nagajo light is up.